Hi friends, how are you? You can see I have a friend with me. Okay, so you can tell by the title I have a Dollar Treat haul. I'm gonna try to do it as fast as possible as she is trying to get into all the bags because she discovered two treats in there for her um, that she's already, okay. So there will be no order to anything. I'm just gonna pull things out of the bag and go from there. So I bought two bottles of Mountain Dew, the one liters for a dollar. It is a, it is a deal. Okay, it's a deal. And um, I purchased one, two, three, four, five, five little mini cans of these espresso monsters and the flavor espresso and cream. I love these. I love them and I've only ever seen them at uh, the Dollar Tree. I don't know if it's a discontinued item. I don't know if they're sold anywhere else, but they are delicious. And if you can try one, do so. I also purchased two in the vanilla and cream flavor. I have never had this one, so I don't know. So I only bought two. The, 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 hi. Who do you want? <laughs> do you see her? What the hell was that? What are you doing? See, she's, she's in the bag here, and she's trying to get in it because she's hoping there's some more things from her. Do I have stains? Yep, I got stains all over me, thanks to her. Thanks, boop. You can always provide me with filth. Appreciate it. Okay. I'm going to put these back. Okay. In the bag that she keeps trying to get into. No. I bought for snacks for this weekend some cheddar and bacon potato skins. About two bags of these. Um, I bought two bags of the Utz Party Mix. This one's already broken into as well as three packages of Nutter Butters. Those are for my son. Um, Y'all remember that I make a bag of um, candy for my work. So I per, oh, this isn't clearly one for work because I've already busted into it. But somewhere there's cocoa and cream caramels. Where there's somewhere there's some creamy delight heart candies, the fruit flavors. No, no. Okay, these are the fruity hard candy ones. I, <laughs> she likes Werther's. This is. No. No. Some cotton candy puffs. I already told you these, right? Um, yeah. yeah, I did. Okay. One Powerade in orange for myself. It's in the wrong bag. Um, a little journaling notebook for me, as I do that daily. Two packages of pudding. Why couldn't I say that? That's actually for here. So I need to take those out because I'm going to put them in the fridge. And this is for home though. It's two packages of funnel cake mix. I purchased this little like, it looks like this, like a doggy bone. And it's got little garbage bags to pick up her shit when we go on our walk. Because Lord knows that we've got to drop something somewhere. And because we sat out with a fire the other night in my boyfriend's backyard. And I'm full of bug bites. So I bought some anti-itch cream. Because I'm literally covered from my ass all the way down to my ankles. Okay? It doesn't feel nice. And it doesn't feel or look that great. Me itching all up in them nether regions in front of people. So, yeah, that's that out of there. And then, for the whole point of this haul, which I'm so excited for, and dreading her because she touches anything, I'm gonna go crazy. Okay. You know this is coming up to my favorite time of year, you guys. Let me give her a cookie. Here. 
Okay, so I bought some supplies. We shall start out with a little package of four orange glitter pumpkins. Here's a package of five. They're like the next size down. Here's some minis. It's a package of 10. I'm gonna create something, I know I am. Bought some smaller purple glitter ones. And a package of four, like larger size. And there's some orange polka dot ones. I bought some bows. One is white and it's got ghosts and little Halloween thingies all over it. I'm not even sure what it says. Something wicked this way comes. Something wicked this way comes. That's in a movie. A true fan of those movies will know. And I'll give you a hint. There are singing frogs that are also performing that song. And it comes into this, like the scene is they, sh they show the, the people in the choir and some of the people in the choir are frogs. And the scene ends on them singing the part, something wicked this way comes. And you hear a frog croak and move it on to the next scene. You tell me what movie that's from. Like I said, only a true fan's gonna know. Anywho, I bought, oh, I forgot to tell you, like the part that's in black is like a fuzzy, velvety material. And on here, anything that's black is velvety. And this has got like bats, purple bats all over it. Which in my last year's haul, I bought glitter bats to use on something I'm going to create. And I, oh, I got, I guess I purchased two packages of those pumpkins. And two packages of purple ones too. Okay. And I bought some glitter white skeletons. And several rolls of, what is this? The mesh, glitter mesh. So I got one purple, no, I'm gonna need purple. Okay, I got two in black. I thought I got two in purple, did I? Yes, two in purple. One in orange. And these are much more glittery. And the they're all spider webs. So I got two in the silver, silver webbing. One in gold. One in purple. One in orange. I got one sign. This is for Thanksgiving time though. Or actually no, this will be this like a fall. Anyway. I thought this was cute. And I would leave this up the entire fall season. And last. I'm going to create something. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this all in the picture. It's sideways. It's meant to stand up like that. It's a witch's hat. So you can see. There's the peak. See? It's a witch's hat. It's, a, it's called a witch's hat form, I guess. Wreath form. I don't know what I'm doing and I don't know if I'm gonna be putting the mesh on this. I don't know yet. I have some ideas in my head, but I don't I don't know for sure yet. If you didn't know this about me, because you probably didn't, because I used to make floral arrangements on the regular. I took a class for it and then I used to create them and sell them on eBay. And I was successful, but uh, Life got in the way and I kind of got out of it, but I did used to love creating things. I was a snob about it though. I was snobby with the type of, I would not just use any kind of just flowers, man. I was very, very snobby about the, because it needed to look pristine, okay? And I will tell you, there's not many from the Dollar Tree that I would ever use in something I'm creating, but, because I'm just too picky. I either like to work with dried florals only or very, very, very picky, picky silk florals. So I have some ideas of what I wanna do with this. I just don't know yet. 
it'll be easier for me to come up with things once I have my own space to decorate, if you know what I'm saying. So that is on my manifestation list, let me just tell you. Anyway, that's it. I'm not going to draw this on any longer. That is my Dollar Tree haul with the Halloween items being the most important. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a fabulous day. I would love for you to subscribe. Leave me a comment. Give me a like. Come back and see me. So I will see you then. I forgot one more item. The most important part? No, not really. But it's a wreath hanger in my favorite co uh, color that is perfect for Halloween. It's a purple wreath hanger. I thought it was cute. Flimsy, but cute. <laughs>